Hi, this is Kerry with Filmmaker Central, and today we're gonna to take a look at a tool in DaVinci Resolve called the Patch Replacer Tool. What this tool does, it allows you to remove blemishes or even objects in some cases from your video, making for some clean looks. Uh, I'm gonna show you how I had to remove some holes that were in a wall that was behind me. You could remove uh, light switches, things like that uh, very easily. So let's take a look when we come right back. Okay, here we're in DaVinci Resolve. I'm on the color page and I have this wall behind me here that has some holes from where I removed a, uh, a shelf. So I wanna get rid of these so they don't show up in the video. And there's a very simple way to do that with the patch replacer tool. And unfortunately, I think it works it, or the interface feels backwards from what I'm used to in probably like Lightroom or Photoshop, but let's go ahead and give it a try. So I'm gonna just drag the patch replacer tool onto here. I'll go ahead and zoom out so we can see what it's doing. And it's saying, uh, take this spot and move it to this spot. So what I'm gonna do is go up to the area where I have one of these little holes and I'm just gonna really make it as small as possible. And then I'm gonna select an area that matches that pretty good. Now, unfortunately, I can't just keep adding spots here. What I have to do is create another node and I'll add the patch replacer to that node. And again, I'll do the same thing. And I'll bring that one up over here. And I'm gonna do another one and I'll add the patch replacer to that. And I'll bring it to this little guy. Up here. And I'll find a good spot for replacement. And now let's try it on the other side. And I'll add the patch replacer there. And I have these two spots here. Let's see if I can do that in one shot. And let's turn this off so we can see what we got. And that looks really good. And since there's no movement, I don't need to worry about tracking it. And since my big old head here doesn't move in front of them, I don't have to worry about doing the masking or so anything I think like that's that. That's a very cool addition. Instead of just having to kind of copy. So that does work extremely well, as you can see. I mean, I, I don't see any way of noticing that I did any touch up on here. I mean, unless you probably got in and did some serious pixel peeking or peeping, but you know, in 1080 footage or even 4k footage, the resolution just isn't that high to really make much of a difference to, to where it's going to be that noticeable. The two things to watch for is if it's moving and you need to track it, or if something is going to go in front of it, which could cause a problem. So, in fact, I think I actually, look at that, I do have a little error somewhere. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that back on and go to my different, there we go. See, my ear is kind of blowing up there. So I'm going to make this spot a little smaller, and there we go. Problem solved. So, very easy to work with. Just watch out for little things like that. Not that big of a deal. You could use this on, um, you know, a wall outlet or something. So long as there's good material to pull from to do the replacement, it will blend in pretty nicely. And let's go ahead. I'm going to go back to one of these. Here's the different settings for it. So there's adaptive blend where it's doing its guess at what you're trying to do. There's cloning, which is just an exact clone and fast mask, which is gonna try and do good stuff, but it may not have the best results. You can say keep original detail, the replacement detail, the region shape, the blur shape edges and uh, patch positions and on-screen controls so I can hide them, auto hide or just show, and then the blending amount that I wanna use. So I may just, 
want it to be softer, but in this case, I'm just gonna go for it and try and take the whole thing out. Now do keep in mind, this is going to increase your rendering time, so it may not play back super smooth all the time if you have a bunch of these patch replacements going on. And right now I have my playback set to render cache smart, and it's definitely detecting that I probably need to go ahead and let it render this so that my playback is gonna be nice and smooth. But let's go ahead and give it a try paste anyway. Copy and paste wherever you wanted it. You can now just throw it. Yeah, it's gonna be really out of sync. It's not gonna play back well. Even though this is a nice, powerful machine, you start adding a bunch of those patch replacements and you're gonna run into some CPU problems. So just keep that in mind and maybe uh, go through and do them and turn them off until the very end or something like that. But it should not be that big of a problem to go and knock through these. Now, another thing to keep in mind when doing this is that you can do this patch replacement using the adjustment clip. So if you need to do the same patch removal on different clips, using the adjustment clip will keep you from having to copy and paste or do it over and over again. So here I've got my effects panel open with the adjustment clip and I'll just drag this across both of these so we can see what that's gonna look like. And we'll go into the color page and we'll real quickly do some of these. So I'm just gonna make these little small guys. We'll get rid of that one first. We'll do another node. I'll throw it on there. Get that guy nice and small. Get rid of that one. One more node just for the fun of it. I'll throw that one on there. We'll make this guy nice and small. And I'll throw it over that one. Find my replacement point. And there we go. All those are done. We'll go over to the edit page and we can see that I'm on the first clip and they're gone. I go to the next clip and they're gone. But if I go past that clip, we can see that they're there. So using the adjustment clip is a way of doing it so that you can reuse that over and over and apply it to a bunch of different clips all at one time, saving you a whole lot of effort. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it's gonna be helpful for some of you to clean up little blemishes and artifacts that are in your videos. This is definitely an easy way of doing it and using that adjustment layer or adjustment clip can really be a big time savings if you have to do it in a bunch of different places with the same scene. So thanks for all the support out there. Thanks for uh, subscribing and checking that bell icon to make sure you get notified whenever there's a new video. All the likes, the subscribes, the feedback, the comments, definitely appreciate it. Check it out at Patreon at patreon.com slash G. Don't forget to check out the website at filmmakercentral.com and join the Facebook group at facebook.com slash groups slash filmmakercentral. This has been Kerry. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.